Hey, what's up my friends? I hope you are well today. I wanna to talk today about spline projection. So if we have a model and we have some text that we want to put on the model, but this model is not flat, this is how you're gonna go about it. Um, so if you're just starting out, you might think put it in extrude nerves and push the extrude back into your object. Um, but that doesn't give you a very accurate result. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a text spline. So if we take this spline out of here. So if you go to mesh under spline, you have all of these options under your splines. Um, but because this is not editable yet, a lot of these are grayed out. So we actually need to hit C uh, to make this editable. And then if we go to uh, mesh spline, now we have access to all of these different options. Um, so down here we have project. So if we click on that, right here we get uh, just a few options for project. Uh, we have the mode, and we have a bunch of different uh, X, Y, Z planes or axis, and then we have view mode, um, and then we have apply. So if we are talking about the view mode, it's going to project this spline against whatever's behind it based on the camera view. So right now if we hit apply, it's going to push some of those points back, but because of the camera view, it's gonna kind of be pretty janky. So let's undo that. Um, so if you do a four view and you go into the view that you want to project it from, it'll project it from that. So you'll probably get better results. Um, but we also have the option for planes. So let's go ahead and hit apply. And when you hit apply, if you have this real-time update, you can toggle through these different uh, planes and it's going to uh, reproject it. So just by going to the ZY, I can already see that that is the plane that we're looking for. So you can just kind of toggle through these, make sure real-time updates on there and find the right plane for your uh, model. So now we're in business because all of the different points have been projected or thrown back onto the model and now they're sticking perfectly to the geometry. So then we can just throw it into an extrude nerves, turn that on, and now we are actually wrapping around the object and it looks like it belongs on there. So that is the spline project tool that is under mesh, spline, and project. Not a whole lot of options, but it's a very powerful little tool. So I hope that you guys learned something new. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.